Carl, maybe you can tell me a bit about the Western Lowlands Gorillas, what we can expect. Yeah, what do you expect? You expect uh, an amazing tracking experience. You expect to see uh, an animal that's actually critically endangered. We're talking less than 100,000 individuals remaining in Africa. Western Lowland Gorillas are very different from the mountain gorillas, for example. Slightly smaller, got uh, less fur than the mountain gorillas, but the silverback's got a more silver back than the mountain gorillas. In order not to impact negatively the gorillas, we do have a, a protocol. We're now talking about health concern to the gorillas. For example, wearing a mask at the sighting. Uh, we're talking about respecting a distance between the gorillas and ourselves, so that we get this wild experience, which makes it magic. I'm semi-fit, I mean uh, these days I don't get to sort of hike as much as I would like and I found the first 15 minutes were a little bit difficult but after that body warmed up, muscles warmed up and it was easy going. Um, I would say however to wear shoes that you have Definitely. worn in and are comfortable. Definitely, very comfortable shoes. This is a very off the beaten track destination. The beauty is that you're in a remote place. The beauty is that you almost feel like you're more part of a raw research phase than a polished tourist commercial. So I think you should have low expectations about something that's very polished, but high expectations about something that's raw and real and learning about the forest. That's the kind of space you have to be in, versus wanting to just arrive and have everything perfectly packaged for you. <laughs>